When it comes to curriculum development, the model of the three-legged stool is often used because it uh, requires that you've got a balance of three of the legs in order to make it work. With curriculum development and the focus, one of the key focuses of this course or one of the key outcomes is finding an alignment between planning or outcomes, activities, and assessment. So curriculum development is really all about aligning outcomes, activities, and assessment is finding that balance. So this is one of the things that you are going to actually do through this course and through your curriculum development uh, activities in the future. If you can remember this balance, it's going to make all the things that you do uh, make a lot more sense. Again, I want to repeat this and use some different terminology. I want you to get used to the fact there's different terminology that we use uh, with respect to these three components, but planning or outcomes, activities, and assessment is one of the key ways that I like to refer to this uh, process. Now, as I'd mentioned, this is a critical, critical role for the instructional designer. And this is one of the roles that you're going to be taking on. In curriculum development, you are going to take on the role of an instructional designer. You're also going to be taking on the role of a teacher when you take a look at your lesson planning and your syllabus document that you build. So there are multiple roles that you're going to be looking at um, from the perspective of this course. You're also uh, taking on the role of the learner as well. And so that's a, another key important role because the way that you learn something often will translate in a way that you help others to learn something. And with an outcomes-based uh, type of a course, we're focusing on helping you to learn uh, through an authentic learning opportunity like building your own curriculum. And so as a teacher or as an instructor, I come alongside and I guide and I help facilitate the learning process as opposed to teaching you a specific skill. You have have to do the work. You've got to read the material. You have to actually work on an actual real project and I come alongside and help you. I'm an instructional designer but I'm also a teacher so I can help you with working through these two specific roles. So again, I want to remind you of this balance. Your intended curriculum is what you plan on teaching. Okay, This is the outcome. This is the goal. If you're going to be building a competency-based uh, course, then these are the goals and the objectives that you're going to be working with. But again, it's what you're planning on teaching, the intended curriculum. The implemented curriculum is what you're actually teaching. What are the activities? What actually happens in the body of instruction? What is going to happen? How does this transpire? This is an important part. And then the final component is the achieve curriculum. How do we know that the learner has learned the things that they, that they uh, were intended to learn? Well, that's where assessment comes into place. In this particular course, we're going to be taking a look at the documents that you build, your uh, planning documents, your course profile. So we take a look at that and we assess you on the effectiveness of your design. We also give the opportunity to improve that design through uh, reflection. So it's an ongoing process key is to think about that balance. What, how, and then how do we assess that? You want to have a perfect alignment and you want that balance between outcomes, activities, and assessment.